Alright everybody, uh, this is going to be my Halo Supplies tutorial for like resining and bonding and tools and stuff you're going to need. Alright, so I did some cleanup and some organization of my work area. So we're just going to go over a basic little view here of what I got going on. Alright, you're going to need something like this. This is my garbage box. I got a box. I lined it with a trash can. That way it, it's not going to ruin a trash can or anything just in case there's something a little too corrosive than usual gets in it. Alright, so we're going to start going over basic tools. This Dremel, it's uh, it, it's wireless, okay? It takes batteries, Walmart, 20 bucks, okay? Um, you know, a good old pair of uh, wire clippers just in case. Let's see here, you're also going to need a uh, spiral saw for doing other odd jobs. And another, uh, I got a Dremel tool kit here, uh, standing grinding kit. This was 10 bucks, so, you know, a little uh, mirror so you can see behind things, make sure you're getting where you need to go. Uh, pencil, uh, drill bits, drill bits, and you're going to need a drill, which is over here. You know, I got a good, you know, cordless electric here. Uh, different size masking tapes. I got some, uh, some duct tape just in case. Um, fiberglass mat, this comes from, uh, you know, the, um, auto store. This is like six, seven bucks, you know, uh, you know, for doing bondo work, I got some, you know, little tools here for applying and mixing up bondo, uh, basic screwdriver, um, you know, some, uh, some hobby brushes so I can get in the little tight areas. They got a nice long hair when I'm doing the resining. Uh, I got a pop rivet gun. This is what I use to attach my shield. I might, I'm probably going to need this for a few other things later on. Uh, dust mass, very important. Dust mass, very important. Uh, a heavy duty set of latex gloves. Okay, let's go over here. So this is the Bondo, the hardener. Also, I'm not sure if I might may need to use some paper mache methods. This is the only type of glue you should use for paper mache. Okay, it's non-toxic. It's water soluble. If you use wood glue, it's going to set up harder than snot, and you're not going to be able to uh, get it off anything. So use this, uh, especially if you're going to if it, it if you need to re if it's going to need to be removed or something like that afterwards. Um, this is my sanding kit box. This is between 120, 60, and 80 grit. This is what you're going to start out with. You're going to need finer sandpaper. You're going to need 400, 800, 1500 grit. I got a box here for my cutout for my fiber mat. You want to cut them out in strips. There, just like that. You cut them out in strips and little squares and stuff. Uh, that's just a dusting brush. I saved one of my brushes to do some dusting. Uh, different stuff, set of sticks here and stuff for mixing. And also I got sticks for sanding. And it's probably got one wrapped up in here. Yeah, I got one of the sticks up here for uh, for sanding. Help me sand. There we go. This is for my sanding block. This is my table. I got some adhesive too. So this is a one minute auto adhesive I got. I'm going to go ahead and set this over here. And set it in that box. Okay. This is my helmet. Still working on it. I'm going to go back to the bonding, bondoing and sanding. I went and I filled the nose in. Everything's solid. It's a solid piece. You know, thick as my thumb. It's all from back to front with the resin. It's attached to the shield now. Um, that, uh, acetone, fiberglass resin, set of 100 gloves. I got an extra little jar here for the acetone just because, you know, I can dip a brush in real quick and, and I change that out once in a while. My hardener for my my stuff, my little dish. This came out on the the thing itself. This right here, this came on the resin can. That's what I've been using over and over again. This is uh this is glass. You want to use glass. It, cuz it's easier to clean up. You know, I do anywhere between 2 and 4 ounces. So, halfway mark, you know, between the 4 and the bottom. But that's kind of like my little my little area, the things that you are gonna need uh, or you might want to use. So, oh yeah, and the caulking. I use this to uh, caulk the back of my helmet. 
I talked about it in one of my earlier tutorials so I can fill some spaces. So caulking, you're, you're probably going to need a, just a wide range of different items. So this is just a basic offshoot. You may or may not need this. It depends on how much detail you want to put into your helmet. And I, I, I want as much detail as possible. I'm going nuts so on it. So now that's what we got right there. So that's a good basic overall as far as, you know, supplies that you are going to need. Um, you pick them up a little bit as you go. That way it doesn't, you know, cost you an arm or leg. You know, just kind of plan it out in different uh, sections. This, doing this right here, your helmet, is going to cost you more than anything. Because it takes a lot of work to make this turn out really nice. You know, this is this is your showpiece, your armor. All your other armor pieces are going to be easy in comparison. This this is this is the tough puppy. This is the girl that's going to give you trouble. Okay. All right. So, but it's also a labor of love. You're going to love it, especially after you get done with it. It's it's going to be it's going to be rad. Heck yeah. But anyway, that's my uh, supply tutorial. I I, I hope this. Uh, is helping you out. You know, I went and got some basic paint. I'm doing I'm doing a green style armor. This is a uh, hosta leaf. You know, it looks it looks close, a little bit darker, but this is my armor. And I got some uh, gray primer paint. These were like three four bucks a piece at Walmart. Here's got some silver. So what I'm gonna do is I'm a uh, that's my first layer pi primer, and then I'm gonna use this as a layer primer. And then I'm gonna paint over that way, and then I'm gonna scuff the helmet, and this is gonna show up underneath. So that's going to be my nice metallic metal look under my my paint in different areas. So, all right, that's what I got for you. I'll check you guys later.